sitting comfortably, sitting with the back straight, back, neck and head in a straight line. Close your eyes gently, relax the expression on the face. Relax your shoulders. Relax your belly. As you inhale, let the belly expand. As you exhale, let the belly return back. Stay in the belly, expanding as you inhale and letting go and relaxing as you exhale. Breathe into the belly and as you exhale, simply let go. Let go of any thoughts, let go of any concerns, let go of any unfinished business. Just let go. We're going to begin by chanting Om three times and then the opening prayer, Sahana Bhavatu. Bring your palms together at the heart center, pressing your palms together gently, touching your fingers together and gently touching the back of the thumbs into the chest. Now bring your attention to the hollow space between the palms and stay right here. Exhale completely, take a deep breath, inhale. We're going to chant Om after the next inhale. Exhale completely, take a deep breath, inhale. Oh. Second Om, inhale. Oh. Breathing in, release your hands, rub your palms together to generate some heat. Gently cup your eyeballs to transfer that heat. And then blinking, open your eyes and pull your palms back. Namaskar, good morning. <clears throat> Today and tomorrow are the longest days in the in the summer. It's also International Day of Yoga this weekend, so I welcome you all to this yoga class. We're going to begin by loosening the body. Then we will uh, we will begin by coordinating the breath and the movement. Then we will move to loosening the body. Then postures which we will be holding, and then deep relaxation at the end, closing with the closing prayers. We're going to begin by just simply becoming aware of our breath and coordinating our breath and our movement. You may sit like this, which might be easier for you to bend forward and behind up. If you have back pain or if you have any other trouble, you can do this slowly or you can just follow along in your mind. Try to follow along 
and listen to your body. Don't hurt yourself. Push, but don't break your body. Now, sitting in Vajrasana, just like I am, you can place your palms in by the side or behind you. Breathing in, we're going to stretch and look up. Stretch your back and look up. As you exhale, bend forward slowly and go all the way down. Slowly come up. There's no holding the breath. Your movement and your breath must be coordinated. Your movement and your breath must be smooth. Stretching, stretching in both directions. Finishing of the last one. Continue to sit in Vajrasana. We're going to now come up on the knees and stretch our arms up as we rise and inhale. Stretch, stretch, stretch your arms up. Feel the stretch in the shoulders and now come back down slowly. No holding the breath. No jerky movements. Finishing up the last one. Now, <clears throat> finishing up, Sp spreading the knees one forearm width. So from your elbows to your hands, that's the distance you're going to measure. And then measuring the same forearm width to come up on all fours. We're going to stretch our back in both directions, flexing it up and down, pointing the tailbone up and looking up as you inhale, and then tucking the tail in and bringing the chin into the chest, hunching the shoulders as you exhale. Flex your back in both directions. And now, finish up the last one. After that, bring the knees together. Keep the palms where they are. Bringing the knees together. Now we're going to bring the right knee into the chest as we exhale. Chin into the chest as well. And then kick the leg back and look up. Flexing the back completely. Finishing of the last one. Now <clears throat> we're going to switch sides and bring the right, right, left knee into the chest. Finishing up the last one. 
and come back and sit down. You may, <clears throat> you may now sit as if you're at the beach. It's a nice sunny day outside. Legs open in a V shape, palms flat, fingers wide open. Hands behind you, fingers pointing away, elbows locked. And now your back is straight and you're simply leaning back on your reclining couch, which is your entire arm. Um, just relax. So the objective of yoga postures is to give us stability and strength and also to restore our full range of movement, both physically and mentally. So our joints are designed to move in various directions, but we usually don't move them as much as we as they're able to. So what we're doing with these postures is simply returning, <clears throat> resetting our body to its more natural flexibility. Now we're going to stretch and just open up the body. You can lie down. You can lie down and show us some legs open, toes pointing away, arms spread out, palms facing up, fingers naturally curled. Move your head from one side to another and just come back to the center and relax. We're going to be warming up and stretching slowly. We're going to <clears throat> enjoy our midsummer yoga program. <clears throat> Bring the legs together, arms by the side. We're going to try to raise only one leg at a time, the right leg. Raise the right leg up straight. No bending at the knee and slowly bring it back down under control. Slowly raise the right leg up and bring it back down. <clears throat> slowly raise the right leg up and bring it back down. One more time. Slowly raise the right leg up and bring it back down. Switching sides. Other right leg, which is to say left leg up and down. Now as you bring your left leg up, notice how you're feeling that stretch at the back of your thighs and back down. We're trying to extend that muscle and we're going to come back to it in just a second. But there's a muscle which is tight at the back of your knees connecting all the way to your hips and beyond. One more time raising the left leg up and bring it back down. Now, we're going to play Itsy Bitsy Spider. Now raise your right leg up and keep it up. Just one right leg up as if you're voting with your leg, right leg up. And now with your hands, reach out and grab your knee. All right, just the knee, it's okay. And again, this is not a competition and I cannot see you, so you have to be really safe. And so what you're going to do is you're going to climb up the, the leg slowly and you're going to go only as much as you can push but don't break test your limits but stay within them now leg is up hands are together on the knee and now no point scoring but itsy bitsy spider climbs up the water spout so climb let the hands climb up slowly slowly you can bring your torso up or torso up now see if you can go all the way up see if how far you can go and just stay there. It's okay wherever you go, it's all right. Now, hold yourself into this posture. Hold yourself into this posture and begin to relax into it. Close your eyes, open your ears and bring your attention all the way to your knee, the right knee. Now take your attention to the back of the right knee and now behind that, feel that muscle tightening. Talk to that muscle directly and tell it to relax. Slow down your breath and tell that muscle to relax. Relax and extend. Relax and extend. Relax and extend. Slowly that muscle is going to pay attention to you and begin to relax and extend. And if you feel that the muscle is beginning to relax and extend. Well, itsy bitsy spider climbs a little five further up the water spout. Go up a little bit more, extend that muscle. 
And now slowly release your hand and slowly bring your torso down. Now bring your right leg down under control. Just relax. Relax. Feel that relaxation. Legs together, arms by the side. Now we're going to raise the left leg up. Hold the left leg up. Interlock your, uh, make sure your knee is locked. Now reach out with your hand and grab your knee. And once again, we're going to climb up slowly, methodically, and mindfully of our body's limitations. Our objective is to go all the way up, as far up as we can go. Breathe in and out slowly. Take your attention to the back of your knee. And then relax and extend. Relax and extend. And when you get a little bit more extension in that muscle, climb up a little bit more and continue the onward journey. Relax and extend. Slow down your breath and every time you exhale, try to go a little deeper into the posture. And now slowly release your hand, bring your torso down and then bring your left leg down under control. Just relax. Relax, feel that relaxation. Now we're going to get uh, what's called in Hindi Paisa Vasuli, which is to say our money is worth for our hip joint. Hip joints are meant to rotate. They can rotate at a fairly wide angle of rotation in three dimensions. But we usually just walk in one plane, so back and forth only. Now we're going to get the hip rotator to move. And that's a good thing. Now raise your right leg up. This is Pavan Muktasan Kriya for those who are following along. Right leg up, fold the right leg at the knee. Now interlock your fingers behind the knee. Pull the knee into the chest. Pull the knee into the chest. Now bring your chin up, your torso up and try to bring your chin and knee together. You got this far, that's great. Now raise your left leg up, point the big toe out. And now make a wide circle. Left leg up, big toe out, make a wide circle with the left big toe. Wide, as wide as you can, as circular, as smooth as you can. Now bring your attention to your hip joint and notice how you're getting the sweet sound of your money's worth for your hip rotator joint. But Someone's called the cops on next door and you've been charged with defacing the environment. You're going to have to erase all those circles you painted in the sky. Go in the opposite direction. Opposite direction. Same circles but in reverse. Now slow down and stop. Point the big toe out. Bring the leg down, bring your torso down, release your fingers and bring the right leg down. Feel the difference between the left side, the left leg and the right leg. The joint feels different from one side to the other. You've just lubricated and rotated your joint, which is great. Now we're going to switch sides, left leg up, fold it at the knee, interlock your fingers and behind the knee and bring the left leg in. Bring the left knee in, bring the chin up to the knee, hold it right there, and our right leg up, big toe out, and rotate. So fluid movement, no jerks, smooth movements. Get a full range of movement.
No, reverse directions. Reversing and rotating. Now slow down, stop, bring the right leg down, bring the torso down, release your hands, bring the left leg down under control. Just relax. Just relax. Now, <clears throat> take a break. Now bring both the knees up. Just the knees up, feet on the mat. Spread your arms out a little bit more. We're going to take the knees together on a ride, first to the left side, then to the right side. Slowly take them to the left side, then to the right side. Left and right. Slowly keep moving back and forth, back and forth. Left and right. Left and right. Now hold your knees down all the way to the left side and hold them down. Now look over your right shoulder. So let's recap. We're twisting our spine in wicked, weird ways. Knees are together down on the left side, preferably touching the mat. And you're, you're looking over your right shoulder. Now bring your attention to your belly. That's right, bring your attention to the belly and breathe into the belly. As you breathe in, you'll feel a twisting and squeezing movement. That's what we want, a gentle twisting and squeezing movement. As if you're trying to get the last bit of toothpaste out of your tube. Twisting and squeezing movement. Come back to the center. Knees up. Come bring your head up. Just relax. Now we're going to go to the opposite side. Knees together to the right. Look over your left shoulder. Breathing into the belly. Feel the twisting and squeezing movement. Keep breathing into the belly. Gently squeezing the back, the spine and twisting it. Every time you inhale and exhale. One last gasp and now come back to the center. Knees up, head back to the center. Straighten out your legs and relax. Just relax. Now we're going to do bicycling, but while lying down. So raise both your legs and then pedal away, pedal. Keep pedaling. Keep pedaling. You have to keep pedaling as if you're running for office. And then, since you're running for office, you begin to learn to like politics. You're going to have to do what politicians do all the time, backpedal. Backpedal all those promises. Reverse and backpedal. Take back everything you promised. Backpedal. Smooth. Complete movement. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down and slowly bring your legs down and relax. 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 We're still warming up, so I hope you're enjoying it. Now, legs together, arms by the side. Bring only the left knee up. 
just the left knee is to come up, left foot fully on the mat. And now you have to cross your right leg over, cross your right, right leg over, hold it right here. Raise your arms. And now you have to watch the demo if you haven't seen this in my class. Weave the right hand through the hole between the legs. Raise the left knee up. Now interlock your hands behind the left knee. So your fingers are interlocked behind the left knee. So far so good. If you can't see with your mind's eye, you're going to happen to have to open one eye, look at the screen. All right, this is step one. Step two is we're going to start pulling with our hands, pulling the left knee into the chest. Slowly, persistently, and relentlessly, you're going to keep pulling the left knee into the chest. Pulling the left knee into the chest. And you'll notice something strange and interesting going on as you do this. As you pull the left knee into the chest, breathe in and out, you'll notice that the left knee is doing fine, but the right thigh seems to be in trouble. You're feeling a stretch in the right thigh. The right thigh was sitting along on the passenger seat in the car and got into trouble unnecessarily. Feel the stretch and tell your right thigh to relax and extend. Relax and extend. Relax and extend. Slowly and persistently and relentlessly bring the left knee to the chest. Keep bringing it in. Keep bringing it in. Feel the stretch. Feel the stretch. I know you won't believe it when I say the following few words, but trust me, do it for a couple of decades. This is a very relaxing posture. Very relaxing posture. It doesn't feel that way, but it is. Just relax and extend the right thigh. And now slowly let go. Bring the left foot down. Stretch the right leg out. Stretch the left leg out, arms on the mat, just relax. Feel the difference between the right side and the left side. Now bring the right knee up, right foot fully in contact with the mat. Cross the left leg over. Weave the left hand through the hole between the legs. Raise the right knee, interlock your fingers behind the right knee. And now slowly and persistently and relentlessly bring the right knee into the chest. Slowly bring the right knee into the chest. Slowly bring the right knee into the chest. Keep bringing the right knee into the chest and return the favor to the left thigh. Now release your fingers and bring your legs back down and stretch out, just relax. <clears throat> now <clears throat> raise both the legs a little, interlock your fingers behind the legs and rock yourself up, rock yourself up into a sitting posture. Slowly coming up into sitting posture, you're back at the beach. 
and just relax. Just relax. <clears throat> the following couple of postures, you have to be really careful if you have back pain or stomach trouble, probably sit this one out. We're going to bring the feet together as if we're doing Namaskar, but with our feet. And now uh, keep your back straight, slide close to your feet. Your feet are now as close to the torso as possible. Interlock your fingers behind the toes. Gently shift from side to side. A butterfly. Butterfly posture. All right, come back to the center, stop wobbling. And now we're going to start fluttering. Feet are touching each other in Namaskar Mudra. Fingers are interlocked behind the toes. The knees are on the side. And now we're going to start moving the knees up and down and fluttering them. Very slowly, with the Konasana. Very slowly get a full range of movement. Speed is not important, range is important. Range is important. Pick up speed a little, but maintain the range. Now, of course, this is a free community service, but for a few dollars more, I could teach you to fly. Um, I'm not kidding, a few gurus actually teach levitation. I don't know what that means, but they're kind of doing something like this involving some sort of jumping exercises. I've never had a guru that taught me this, but if you find one, I don't know, buyer beware. Right, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. <clears throat> Given that we don't see flying people all the way around, I'm guessing it doesn't quite work, but they do take your money. All right, push your feet out a little, keep your back straight. Now we're going to breathe in and stretch. And as you breathe out, bend forward and go only as far as your conscience will apply, uh, allow, which is to say, not too far. Now, pay attention to your body, keep your back straight and you're going to bend down only as much as you like. You'll find two hints that you've gone too far. One, the inside of your thigh is going to be unhappy. And two, your nose is going to start beginning to smell your feet. And Maybe you should not do that. Hold it right here for a couple of breaths. Now place your palms on the mat and press into the floor to come up. Palms on the mat and pressing into the floor to come up. And now push your feet out and come back to the beach. Just relax. Just relax. Just relax. Next up, if you could do the next posture well, I have a Hindi movie role to give you. There's a very famous Bollywood movie from the early 1980s. There's a dance sequence which is iconic. Now, bring your right knee in front. Right knee in front, you're sitting up. Place your hands on each side, one on each side. All right, the movie is Umrao Jaan, the actress is Rekha, very famous in her time. And now, what you're going to do is take the right leg and sweep it around the floor to your back. You got it? All right, now, you're sitting up straight. This is Umrao Jaan, for those who haven't seen the Bollywood movie. Text me and I'll send you the photo, you'll be surprised. All right, now, sweep your right foot all the way behind you. You got it? All right, great. Pigeon pose. And now slowly bend down and go all the way down. We're going to hold ourselves down here, pressing the left side of the belly into the mat. And just like a toad in season, your, the right side of your belly is going to expand out. That's what we want. We're trying to get the right side of the belly to expand out. Croaking is optional. Good. 
press into the floor with your palms to come up come up into royal pigeon raj kapoda asana sit up straight sit up straight and now we're going to take our arms up the up and our hands up so this is the lokma no hands pose please hands up and behind you lokma no hands usually words preceded by a fall and a visit to the dentist but being that we're not moving this is all right hold this posture hold yourself upright get a grip on yourself and continue to sit All right, come back down. Bring your hands back, one on each side. Now we're going to do the reverse umraja. Slide your right leg all the way to the front, and stretch your left leg out. Back at the beach, relax. Relax. Now, right knee in front. One side, one palm on each side. Now we're doing <coughs> British Umrao Jan, which is to say the other side. So we're going to take the left foot and slide it all the way behind. You got it. All right. Sitting up straight, and I'm breathing in. And then as you exhale, bend forward and go all the way down, pressing the right side of your belly into the thigh. Hold yourself down here and feel the left side of your belly expanding. Mm. Feel the left side of your belly expanding. Breathe in, breathe in properly. The thing with some postures is you can hold them for longer and the longer you hold them the easier they get. But some other postures are the opposite of not pressing to the floor with your palms to come up. And once again, look my no hands. Take your arms off, hands up behind you and hold yourself in this posture. This is the dolphin or rajika pose depending on whose yoga postures you are following. And now bring your palms back and slide your left foot forward and back at the beach. Just relax. 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 All right, now we're going to go into the three postures. So we're now beginning to hold our postures for a little longer, as you might have noticed. Now we're going to do three poses from the sun salutations, but we're catching them midstream, so you remember them when you get to them. First, we're going to sit in Vajrasana Thunderbolt, which is to say folding the knee, the, the, the heels under the hips. So your hips are sitting on the heels, hips on heels. Now, if you do need to, you might need to roll your mat like so and place your ankle on the mat. That might help you if your ankles are not used to sitting straight. Now, <clears throat> sitting in Vajrasana. This itself is a great posture for mat, really. But go to the back of the mat when you're doing this. You're sitting down like this. Just stay right here. This is a great pose to sit in after dinner. Good for digestion. No blood flow going to the legs. All the blood flow remaining in the in the in the belly, which is where you want it. Great for digestion. Before we go into the <clears throat> three poses I was talking about, here's what I'd like you to do now. I'd like you to raise the left knee. That's right. Raise the left knee. 
place the left foot on the mat and now you can place your left arm on the left knee just like this if you're sitting like this and you're doing this really well take a photograph and then we could have a statue of you mounted in front of your house sitting like this All right, we are going to come back to Vajrasana and switch sides. Right knee up, right arm on the, on the right knee and just relax. Come back to Vajrasana. Now the fun begins. We're going to do a, f a few fun postures and then all through these, gravity is doing most of the work. So Mother Earth is doing the heavy lifting or heavy pulling in this case. So be very careful. First, spread your knees out. Spread your knees out while you're sitting. You got this? Now place your palms on the mat and slide your palms forward as far as you can go. if your head cannot reach the mat which is completely understandable make a tower with one fist or two fists and place your forehead on that tower it's okay it's all right now <clears throat> for all the men doing this posture this is a great childbearing posture if you do this well maybe in the next birth you could be a woman this opens up your hips at any rate But let gravity do all the heavy lifting. The belly is free to move so you can breathe in and out freely. This is not a posture that gets easier over time. You're going to feel, feel the hips open up a little bit more than you need to. But persist. All right, bring your palms closer to your head, press into the floor to come up into sitting and then bring the knees together. Back in Vajrasana, Thunderbolt pose. Just hold yourself into this posture. Now we come to the three famous sun salutations postures. So here's what we're doing. Um, we're going to slide the palms forward. Please watch the demo. And then we're going to first go into Ashtanga. The hips are going to be up and the chin will be facing forward, which means the neck is going to be stretched out. The lower hip will be stretched out in the opposite direction. So the hips, to the necks will make to the neck will make a nice little back extension back flexing hips will be pointing up and toes will be on the mat knees will be on the mat palms will be on the mat chest will be on the mat chin will be on the mat and if you're still counting that's eight items on the mat and that's ashtanga eight limbed now place your palms on the mat slide your palms forward now Keep the toes where they are, knees where they are, nothing moves. You're simply going to slide your chin forward, very close to the mat, as if you're going to, to bounce on, an, on a prey in front of you. Now slide your chin forward, chin forward, chin forward, chin forward. And now place your chin in front of your palms, hips up, hips up. Now the belly is free to move. Can you see me? You can see me, right. Now the belly is free to move. Palms on the mat, chin on the mat. And I can't really move my mouth too much, so I'm going to lisp like Mike Tyson, but I hope you can understand what I'm saying. Breathe into the belly. Breathe into the belly and let everything go. No muscle needs to hold any tension, everything must go. Breathe into the belly.
you just the neighborhood furniture liquidation store everything must go all things in the store are for sale breathe into the belly let gravity pull you down this posture gets better with time ease into it the more you resist the harder this posture is just relax now press into the floor with your palms press into the floor with your palms and come up up bring only your torso up the knees are on the mat the toes are on the mat the torso is up you're looking up expectantly like a dog waiting for a treat which is the name of this posture which is adho mukha shwan asan adho is upward mukha is face shwan is dog upward facing dog now you can point your toes behind toes fully on the mat ankles on the mat knees on the mat everything else is up just like the stock market sometimes everything is up press really hard into the floor with your palms which means your entire arm is up and you're looking up you're a full flex Now we're going to take the knee hips and point them up into the heavens. Let's go up, 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 up. Hips up into the heavens. This is the very famous downward dog posture. And now let me tell you how to do this properly. Knee heels are in full, full contact. If your heels are up, you have to walk your toes forward on one or two steps. Full, full contact. All right. Now knees are locked. No bending, no flexing, no none of that nonsense. Knees are locked. Hips are pointing up into the heavens, just like snow-clad mountain tops. Now your back is flat and straight, and you're pressing down with your shoulders. Head and neck are in line with the back. Elbows are locked. Palms are on the mat. Now breathe into the belly and press your shoulders down. Once again, your shoulders are being pressed down, and yet again, the back of your thigh. is going to feel the pinch is going to feel the stretch press your shoulders down continue to breathe again let gravity do all the hard work keep pressing your shoulders down relax everything else and drop your knees shift your hips back and move into child pose just relax you can take your arms behind you your hands behind you just relax press into the floor with your palms to come up into sitting come up into vajrasan sitting just relax now we're going to do another posture from the sun salutations once again holding the posture so palms on the mat walk your palms forward <clears throat> we're going to do the plank chaturanga four four limbs on the mat so palms in front knees on the mat for now toes on the mat and we're going to make a slightly sloping plank the entire body 
is going to be a straight plank wooden leg. Now take your knees off the mat and make a slightly sloping plank, staring at a spot about two feet in front. Hold it right here. I hear that the previous first lady could do this posture for three minutes. Hold it right here. Continue to breathe. Three breaths. You can do it. Two breaths. One breath. Drop your knees. Move your hips back. Come back into Vajrasana. Just relax for a moment or two. Now let's stand up. Take your time to stand up. Take your time to stand up. Just relax. So standing, relaxation is simply spread your feet and keep your back straight, pull your shoulders back and just let go, just relax. Relax, close your eyes. Just relax. Now, we're going to do deep squats. Deep squats while holding on to the earlobes. The way to do this properly is not to flex your back up and down. You're going to move up and down in one plane. All right? And you're going to spread the, spread the feet, toes pointing away. That's very important. Not, not toes facing forward, pointing away at an angle so that you're not placing undue pressure on your joints. So far so good. Now interlock your, cross your arms and gently tuck your earlobes. Gently tuck your earlobes. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> now we're going to just count 20. Breathe in and we're going to sit down. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go all the way down. I can see you. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two and a half, one and a quarter, and we're done, we're done, it's okay, you can stop. Now, bend your knees, keep your back straight, place your palms on your knees, we're going to blow a big birthday and breathe into the belly, and then, one more time. One more time. And relax. Relax. Come back into the resting posture. Just relax. Now we're going to Bend in a plane to one side or another. All right, so now spread your feet. Spread your feet. Test your stance by bouncing a little. Make sure your feet are not slippery because if your feet are slippery, you're going to be nervous about this posture. Make sure you can trust your mat. 
<clears throat> now left foot point it into the left wall bring the right foot in a little now this is a good stance you can now raise both your arms palms facing forward and now simply in one plane bend and place your left foot left hand on the left foot look up to your right hand no bending forward or back in the same plane we're just going to bend to one side I'm waiting for the bell slowly unwind palms facing forward and now heel to heel to and now sound relax <clears throat> relax Switching sides, spread your feet, test your stance, left foot, right foot to the right wall, bring the left foot in a little, now in the same plane, raise your palms, arms, palms facing forward, now gently bring the right hand all the way down to the right foot. Looking up at the left hand above you. Slow over your mind. And then heel toe, heel toe. And bring your hands together. Come back into relaxation. Next, we're doing the first two postures from the Sun Salutations. So we've practically done all the postures of the Sun Salutations. All right, here, we're going to bring the feet together, touching or almost touching. Now you have to watch this carefully and if you have again back trouble be very careful and go only as far as you can don't break your body very important all right now what i'd like you to do is trust your elbows why because we're going to bend back and go all the way and you're going to use the elbow to hold you upright not the lower back nothing else simply the elbows how are we going to do that i will turn my back to you here's what's going on feet together hands fingers all pointing the same way place your palms on top of your hips right here elbows pointing behind you got this just watch the demo and then breathing in exhale and now press 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 your hips forward press your hips forward and now stretch your back and let your head swing behind you and relax. Now, trust your elbows. You're going to be letting the entire weight of the torso being supported by the elbow. Very important that you hold yourself together. Continue to breathe and slowly straighten yourself out, release your arms and now raise your arms up, 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 up. Stretch, stretch, stretch and then from the base of the back go all the way down. Now knees are locked and you're bending forward. Neither lock, feel the back of your thighs pulling again. Elbows, I mean your 
Back is relaxed, the neck is relaxed, your chin is tucked into your chest, and your arms are dangling, minding their own business. Now relax your belly, relax your belly, relax your belly. Every time you exhale, go a little deeper in this posture. And now to come out of this posture, bend your knees, bend your knees, shift your hips down, 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 and then roll up. <clears throat> All right. Just relax for a moment. Stretch your, uh, yeah, spread your feet and just relax. Relax. Now, bring your feet together. You're going to close your eyes. This will be fun to begin with. Now, feet together. We're going to stand up like a tall tree, but not with the arms up, just simply on the feet, full contact. Close your eyes. Now, bring your attention all the way down to your feet. The feet are in touch with the mat. Bring your toes up, spread your toes and bring them up. Bring your toes up. Notice something interesting? That's right. Now your weight is being supported by four points, two on each side, the heels of the feet and the balls of the feet. But your weight is dancing. A little bit here, a little bit there. Your muscles are still not relaxed. Keep your toes up. Let the weight begin to settle down. You want the weight to be equally distributed in the front and the back, in the left and the right. No dancing, find the center and then let your toes drape down. Just relax your toes, full foot contact, completely stable, you're sturdy and stable. You trust your feet. Now begin to relax your feet. Begin to bounce a little on your ankles and relax your ankles. Now bounce a little on your knees, tighten your knees, bounce on the knees. Tighten your knees, bounce on the knees. Tighten, bounce. Now find the place in the middle where the knees are soft and relaxed, floating like in air. Relax your thighs, relax your hips. Now, <clears throat> a little bit of Elvis Presley. We're going to point the um, pelvic area forward and up. Now we're going to find the tailbone back and up. Come back to the center. Shift your weight to the left hip. Shift your weight to the right hip. Come back to the center. Now find a place where the hips are neither pointing Elvis Presley or, or back. Just simply in the middle. Not too much to the left, not to the right, in the middle. Your hips are now essentially floating on this floating island of leg. Just relax your hips. Now everything below the hips is floating. Take your attention to the base of the spine and open up your spine. Pull your arms back and let the arms dangle out. Palms facing forward. Open out your spinal column completely. Now relax your belly. As you're breathing in, let the belly expand. As you're breathing out, just let go. Relax your chest. Relax your shoulders. Let the arms dangle out, palms facing forward. Now, neck. Find a place where the nose points a little above the horizon line, allowing the head to float freely on the neck. Relax the expression on your face. Let the tongue sit at the bottom of the mouth. And now take your attention all the way down to the top. One single point where the hair seems to cyclone out. Imagining yourself to be a puppet, hung from a string from right here. Feel the entire body relax. Feel the entire body relax. Still breathing, let the entire body sway gently with the breath. Sit 
swaying gently with the breath. Now, blinking open your eyes. Come up on your toes. Stretch your arms up. Up, up, up. And now, while you're still standing on your toes, take a seat, sit on that imaginary chair. A Clint Eastwood blood brought along with him. That's right, sit on an imaginary chair, on your toes, hold it right here. Three, two, one. Slowly drop your hips, place your hips on the mat, stretch your legs out and relax. Relax. You're done. We're going to move into deep relaxation. So, lie down. We're going to lie down, just massage the back a little and then go into deep, deep, deep relaxation. Okay, now lie down. Before you go into Shavasana, bring the knees into the chest. Hug your knees as if you haven't seen them for a couple of minutes. Hug your knees and then gently roll from one side to another, just like a June bug, rolling, rolling from one side to another. It's June and there are these roly-poly bugs that can roll around just like this. Massage your back. Now, interlock your fingers behind the, the, uh, the knees and rock yourself up and down. And now, it's time. Let go and lie down. Lie down in Shavasana. Legs are open, toes are pointing away. Arms are stretched out, palms are facing up, fingers are naturally curled. Fingers are naturally curled. Move your head from one side to another. Find a place where the neck holds no tension. You're beginning to let go. Just relax. Breathing into the belly, let the belly rise and expand. And then as you exhale, simply let go and melt into your mat. Melting into the mat. Breathing into the belly. As you exhale, melt into the mat. Eyes are closed gently. The tongue is relaxed. The expression on the face is relaxed. Breathing into the belly, let the belly rise. And as you exhale, simply let go. Melt into the mat. Imagine it's a 100 degree Fahrenheit day in the sun and you're just a bit of chocolate lying on the floor, lying on the street, melting, melting, melting. Just melt away as you exhale. We're going to move into deep relaxation, but we're going to hold on to our attention you are not to go to sleep, but everything must be relaxed. We're going to start, cycle our attention from our toes and work all the way up to the top of the head. I will repeat every instruction. Don't, do, do not doze off. Just relax everything progressively. Bring your attention to your toes, wriggle your toes, relax your toes, relax the soles of your feet, 
wriggle your feet around the ankles a little, relax the top of your feet, relax your ankles, relax your calves, tighten the knees, tighten, tighten, tighten and release, tighten your knees again and release, tighten, release. Relax your knees, relax your thighs. Now we're going to squeeze our hips as we inhale and let the squeeze travel up the spine as you inhale and then let go and relax. Let's practice squeeze the hips and let the squeeze travel up the spine as you inhale. And then as you exhale, just let go. Relax your hips. One more time, squeeze the hips and let the squeeze travel as you inhale and then let go and relax. Relax your hips, relax your pelvic area, relax the entire lower part of the body. Relax the entire lower part of the body. Now bring your attention below the belly button. Two fingers below, one finger inside the body. We're going to chant the ah uh sound three times, trying to locate the center of the sound and then radiating out from the center and observing that everything the sound passes through becomes relaxed. A giant relaxation array passes through you. Ah uh kara, ah uh sound, deep and long. The center is below the belly button. Exhale completely. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Uh... Listen to yourself. Inhale. silence and a sense of peace penetrates through the entire body. The lower part of the body is completely relaxed. Let the internal organs in the belly become heavy and fall into the ground. Relax your belly. Relax your lower back. Relax your middle back. Relax your upper back. Relax your chest. Relax your shoulders. Relax your arms. Relax your forearms. Relax your elbows. Relax your wrists. Relax the back of the hands. Wriggle your fingers and relax your fingers. Relax the palms. Relax both the hands completely. Relax your entire arms. Relax the entire middle part of the body. Relax the middle part of the body. The middle part of the body is now relaxed. 
Bring your attention to the center of the chest. At the bottom of the rib cage, just above the belly. Heart chakra. Bring your attention right here. Don't just think about it, looking somewhere else. Bring your entirety of your experience, your attention to the center of your chest. Do it. We're going to chant the oo sound. The mouth will be open wide enough, but the heart will be open wide. Pay attention to the resonance and vibration. Ukara, three times. Finding the center and then letting the sound radiate out. Exhale completely. Take a deep breath. Inhale. A tranquil, expansive space opens up. Like a clear water lake. The lower part of the body is relaxed. The middle part of the body is relaxed. Bring your attention to the neck. Gently point the nose to the left and then to the right. Come back to the center. Find a place where the head rests comfortably on the neck and the neck holds no tension. Relax the back of the head. Relax the lower jaw. Relax the chin. Let the tongue become heavy and fall into the mouth. Relax the tongue. Relax the upper jaw. Relax your lips. Relax your cheeks. Relax the nose. Let the eyes sink into their sockets. Relax the eyes. Relax the ears. Relax the crown of the head. Relax the forehead. Relax the entire upper part of the body. Relax the entire upper part of the body. The upper part of the body is completely relaxed. Bring your attention to your forehead, above the eyes and two fingers inside the skull. We're going to chant the mmm sound that centers here at the third eye and radiates out in all directions, penetrating our thick skull and radiating out like a halo. Makara, three times. Exhale completely. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Mm. Silence. 
the upper part of the body is relaxed the middle part of the body is relaxed the lower part of the body is relaxed the entire body is completely relaxed the entire body is completely relaxed bring your attention to the tip of the nose stay right here watching everything As you breathe in observe that the incoming breath is cool and dry As you breathe out observe that the outgoing breath is warm and moist Keep at the tip of the nose, observing the incoming and the outgoing breath. While your attention is at the tip of the nose, begin to also observe your entire mind space, extending infinitely in all directions. Keep the attention at the tip of the nose and observe the mind space in all directions. Thoughts come and go. Thoughts are none of our business. Let thoughts come, let thoughts go. Don't invite them. Don't engage them. Don't repel them. Don't expel them simply bring your attention back to the tip of the nose observing the breath thoughts come like clouds on a bright bright blue california summer day thoughts come like clouds and are blown away by the wind What remains is a bright infinite sky in all direction. The mind space is free of thought, expanding in all directions. Keep the attention at the tip of the nose. Feel a sense of peace. Extend in all directions. enjoy this deep state of relaxation your attention is at the tip of the nose watching the breath your mind space is completely relaxed and your attention is firmly within your control
Feel a sense of peace pervade through your entire being. Enjoy this deep state of relaxation. Deep relaxation is now over. Begin to come back to body consciousness. We're going to chant OM once and let that OM fill the entire body from tip to toe. Exhale completely, take a deep breath. Inhale. Become aware of your body lying here on the mat, your arms and your legs, hands and the feet, the fingers and the toes, the tips of the hair to the tips of your toes. Become aware of your entire body. Now bring the legs together and stretch your arms above you on the mat as if coming out of a deep, deep, deep sleep. Leap your arms above on the mat. Now place your left hand on your belly. Bring the left knee up. Roll over your right arm to the right side. Placing the left hand on the mat. Eyes are closed. Press into the floor with the left hand to come up into sitting, facing forward, please. Sitting in any comfortable posture. Sitting with the back straight, back, neck and head in a straight line. Bring your palms together, pressing the palms together gently. Press, touching the fingers together and gently touching the back of the thumbs into the chest. Bring your attention to the hollow space between the palms. We're going to chant Om three times and then the closing prayers, Sarve Bhavantu Sakina. Exhale completely, take a deep breath. Inhale. Om. Second Om, inhale. Take your arms behind you, grab your right wrist with your left hand and breathing in, stretch. Breathing out, bend forward in a deep sense of surrender. Come back up, breathing in, release your hands, rub your palms together to generate some heat. And then gently cup your eyeballs with the hollow of your palms. And then massage your face. And then blinking, open your eyes and pull your palms back like an open book. Namaskar. Well, thank you very much. If there are any you. questions or comments, you may please let me know. Otherwise, thank you very much. Happy International Day of Yoga. Happy Midsummer Day. And have a great weekend. Namaskar. Thank you.